All right, joining me now, joining me now here on Newsport is uh, former um, Port Douglas Crocs uh, super coach. Uh, hates that tag, but uh, he's a super coach, and that's Brad Cooper. Coops, welcome to Newsport. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I thought I'd sit down with you um, quickly. I mean, obviously, we, we think grand, local grand finals. We think of the Port Douglas Crocs, and we think of you who, who guided the Crocs to what five or six grannies over the past eight, eight or nine years. So, if anyone's well placed to talk about grand finals and grand final success, it's yourself. So, um, thanks for your time, um, Coops. It's grand final week. I mean, how how would the Crocs players be feeling? The nerves, etc., ahead of um, another grand final. What's take us into their mindset of how the players will be feeling ahead of another grand final appearance? Um, yeah, look, I think it's probably natural for some nerves to get in along the way. Um, but having said that, that's going to be for both sides. Um, just um, it's really important that they keep it as normal as they possibly can. It isn't really a, a, a normal week or, or a normal game is, is a bit attached to it as everyone knows but you want to try and keep you know everything as you know as um, normal as you have done throughout the year as best you can at least yeah mm-hmm. um in terms of the messaging so what were some of the things you would tell your players throughout the week obviously keep things normal but i mean if you notice a player you know feeling uh, feeling on edge or nervous ahead of the big game i mean what are some of the messaging that a coach can do to kind of settle his players down ahead of the, the big game etc um, yeah, you just try and normalise it as best you can. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's it's another game. When you just take away the title of it, it is another game. It needs to be played in that manner. You know, it needs to. You need to be given effort for the 120 minutes, and you need to be making sure that you uh, you're playing your role. I was really big on. Probably said quite a bit. I don't need you to be best on ground. I just need you to play your role well and be a good teammate. And then if you were getting on top of your opponent, then help your teammate get on top of his. So mm-hmm. it was a pretty simple messaging from, from mine and it was something that we kept consistent throughout the year. Mm-hmm. We didn't really change too much come grand final day mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you might have a different game structure or a few little things you tweak for certain opposition, but outside of that, you want to keep things as pretty normal as you possibly can. Coops, this is the first time you've stepped away as, as a coach from the Crocs for you know ten years. I mean, how's it felt to watch the Crocs play and kind of and not not be you know coaching the side? I mean, is it been a good feeling? Have you missed it? I mean, you're a, you're a very competitive beast. How's it feel to have watched it but not physically been the coach? Yeah, completely different for me. Um, it's the first time I haven't been a player or a coach since I was five years old. So you know, there's. 45 years there that I've um, been involved in in either or either capacity. Um, yeah, it's all a learning curve for me as well. Um, I made a real conscious decision and I spoke to the coaching staff that I'll give them clear air. I wouldn't be over their shoulder or, um, you know, trying to put my two bobs in. Um, we had a meeting mid-year um, where I gave them a bit of feedback in regards to how I seen it from a footy manager's point of view and just some things that they should be pre-planning. It was obvious uh, at about round 10 or 11 when we had that meeting that we were going to be thereabouts. We were probably likely to finish top tours, which is what you want to do. Um, and I just, yeah, I didn't demand anything of them. I just said, this is what I'd be looking at, maybe try this or try that and have a few, you know, what ifs that might happen, you know, come the end of the year that you've actually you know, put the odd player in a different position to make mm-hmm. sure you can cover for an injury or mm-hmm. things like that. But they've been very solid. Um, they're an experienced group. They're all new coaches um, in regards to Matt Lasky in the reserves. Um, you've got Jared and the seniors, but the two assistant coaches in Lee Staple and Nick Solder. Um, they're all first year coaches, but they're all got great experience. You know, you've got Jared and Nick, who have both, both played at the highest level. Um, you know, Lee Staple, who's, you know, won premierships at Sanford level with those boys. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're all mates. That's probably the big connection for them. Um, but i am watched them grow um, as the year's gone on, and especially the second half. I thought they've coached mm-hmm. really well. Just on that, Cooper, and how have you found... Have you noticed any um, differences in the style of footy that they're playing this year compared to under yourself over the past number of years yeah yeah completely different um, what, what's the the, the, the biggest um, determining difference that you've that you've noticed uh, I'm a, I was a structured coach so like I, yeah I would have yeah the, the team knew exactly where they were positioning where to be at certain periods of the game where the ball was where they are in comparison to that 
Um, the boys have stripped it back a little bit, um, which would refresh in the group. I understand that. Um, and, you know, they, they play a fairly exciting brand of footy when it gets going. It's a little bit um, Richmond-like, I guess, mm -hmm. where it's man on man, get the ball and then back yourself in with your skills and your ball movement. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There are some little areas that I think that they could... Um, and we sort of went and watched the game last week and spoke about some little things that they could tweak to improve upon the prelim final. Um, but outside of that, um, yeah, I think they've changed it up. And I think the group, you know, needed that. Like, there's some guys that have played all their footy 10 years under me. So yeah. um, to watch a few of those guys be a little bit more rejuvenated and and a little bit freer to, to run and, and play the game in a little bit different manner, it's, you know, I can see that it's... Um, it was the right decision for me to step aside. Um, Coops, the, the Saints, I mean, obviously, um, they're the only team that's beaten uh, uh, Crocs this year. I mean, where will the, the game be won and lost this weekend um, for the Crocs, Coop? Um, I think that, that actually Saints play a, a, a similar sort of brand of what Crocs do at the moment. So um, the last two games, I've thought, with the Crocs, we probably haven't quite defended well enough and I, th I think that that's an area that they can improve. I think um, Saints would be probably saying the same thing. Um, at the contest, at, at, the, at, the, at the cliff face, um, the contested ball will be will be really big component of who does well um, because the last game that they played, it seemed whoever had possession of the ball could find an avenue to go. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that just enhances. If you're winning the contested ball, means you've got more of it, which means you're going to get more opportunity going mm -hmm. forward. And they've, as I said, they're very similar. So I think the team that wins the contested ball will be the team at the end of the day that will win the game. Um, obviously, you've got to use that well as well. So, you think it'll be a tight contest, Cooper, or it'll be uh, a medium blowout per, per se? Or what, you, what, what are you tipping and thinking? Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I don't write Saints off. I think um, my... My personal view is we've got a little bit more talent than they do. Um, watching them on the weekend, they've, they look to, uh, you know, they've got a few niggles and a, and a few guys that have had a fairly solid finals campaign. Um, hopefully that week off will work in our favour. Um, I think early in the game is a real key that we start well, because sometimes having that week off, you can go to sleep, so to speak, and it take you a little bit to get going. Um, but yeah, I, I, I foresee who wins the contest, the ball will win the game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And just moving away, one last question, Cooper. I mean, when you um, stepped down from the Crocs, you did mention that you filled a, a number of calls from uh, Victorian clubs and kind of um, a number of clubs wanting your services. I mean, you're a competitive beast. I and mean, where do you sit with your future aspirations personally? Like, do you still have ambitions to be an, a, a senior head coach at another club or further down the line, maybe at a... At, AFL club level. I mean, where do you see yourself going forward? Oh, look at the, at the moment. I've got a 16-year-old boy who's just got back into footy this year. So I was his assistant coach with the under-15 side at the Crocs this year, um, which was really good. We uh, went and structured them up. Um, they sort of struggled the last couple of years, but they got through to a prelim final. That sort of rejuvenated um, my coaching. It was a different sort of look with junior kids. Um, but to watch them develop, become mates, and and you know achieve their goals that we set out um, on our very first training run, um, that was yeah really invigorating for me. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have an under 17 side, so um, I might try and um, rectify that. So there might be some some um, some coaching maybe in that in that um, capacity at junior level. Um, but yeah, as I said. The senior side of it, yeah, look, the, you know, I have spoken to some clubs and whatnot and, you know, most coaches or ex-coaches do get calls and, and what have you at this time of year. But at this point of time, I've, my mind's just focused on doing my job in the background and helping the coaches through. And we've got, yeah, obviously this week to get through and um, get the result that we want. And then, yeah, at the end of that, we sit down and um, see what, you know, what what's ahead of me and, and whatever else. But, yeah, oh, look, I do love footy and... I'll be involved, but yeah, perhaps at a junior level from this point forward. Um, and lastly, where will Brad Cooper watch the granny on Saturday? Will he be in the stands with the meat pie? Will he be with the in in the inner sanctum with the guys, kind of um, with with the with the Crocs? No, as I said, um, I'll give the guys um, a lot of 
you know, give them clear air and, and space to do their thing as coaches and whatnot. I'll be sitting in the grandstand um, where I usually go and watch, you know, the other teams. Um, I sit right up the back, get a good view of it up there. Um, yeah, I'll be barracking hard and probably yelling a lot less than what I used to when I coached. <laughs> um, Coops, thanks for your time. Cheers.